Hello everyone. Want to simplify your database design and avoid common pitfalls? Stick around because today we are diving into the essential topics of normal forms in DBMS, which is very critical topic in for acing your exams and for cracking the job placements. Hi everyone. I am Anubha. a corporate trainer with over 10 years of experience working with top companies like oracle hcl wipro ust global and many more i have trained thousands of professionals in database management systems and today i am here to share some of that knowledge with you in this video we will explore functional dependencies and different normal forms their importance in database design and how to apply them to prevent the anomalies So let's get started. So guys, in the last session we have seen what is normalization. We have seen that normalization was required for the better relational designs, okay? And we were decomposing the tables in the normalization. So how we are decomposing the tables? There are certain rules that has been proposed by Dr. Cot. And those rules are known as the normal forms. There are six normal forms, but for most of the relational schemas, good design is attained at the three NF itself. So we will understand what is one NF, two NF, three NF, and PC NF in details with the help of an example. So let's see, guys. I'm having certain unnormalized data with me. That is your university course registration data. This table is there, which is having the student ID. the student name with us then you can see the course id is there course name and the instructor and instructor office is there okay but in the table you can see each entry is having the multiple values you can see for the instructor i am having smith and john in a single record okay that means two entries are there in a single cell same ways for the instructor office same ways for your course name and the course id but we don't want that so what we are going to do we have to normalize our table first of all we will be normalizing or decomposing the table into 1 nf okay so what your 1 nf rule says first of all you have to ensure that your table is having only the atomic values that means the indivisible values okay so what i am writing i am doing i'm writing the same entries again and again okay that means alice entry i will be writing twice one for the course id cs101 course name database instructor smith and the office room 101 and again for the course id 102 the course name algorithms instructor john and the instructor office 102 although i have increased the redundancy okay but yes i have made the atomic values in each and every cell second thing it is saying that each record should be unique okay so how we are making the records as a unique one by making the primary keys so here guys the individual attribute like student id is not uh, enough to actually get all the attributes to determine all the other attributes same way as your course id is not able to determine all the other attributes so what i'll do i'll make a composite key by making student id and your course id as the primary key okay so what are the composite keys primary keys i'll make one more video over the constraints you will be able to understand it more clearly there but yes composite key is when we are combining multiple primary keys or multiple attributes together then we are making it as a composite key so here your primary key would be your student id and your course id okay but now in my table we are having certain redundancy with us okay so what i want to do i want to remove this redundancy so i want to further decompose or normalize this table so what i'll do i'll convert it into the 2nf so what your 2nf rule says that you have to ensure that your table must be in 1nf secondly all the non key attributes should be fully functionally dependent on the primary key so what does that mean what is your functional dependency let's say i'm having the two attributes a and b when 
द वैल्यूज ऑफ बी आर बींग डेटरमाइंड बाई द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए ओके देन वी आर सेंग दैट बी इज फंक्शनली डिपेंडेंट ऑन ए एंड ए इज अ डिटर्मिनेंट ओके एंड इफ बी इज फुली फंक्शनली डिपेंडेंट ऑन ए ओनली इफ ऑन रिमूविंग एनी वन एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ एक्स ओके फ्रॉम ए B cannot be determined. If you are removing x from A and B can be determined, that is the partial dependency, and we have to remove the partial dependency in our case. Okay? How? Let me show you. See what we were doing. We were having this primary key, student ID and course ID, which were like able to determine the values of your course name, values of the instructor. and value of your instructor office but as soon as i will be writing student id and the course id here okay and i am trying to determine the value of the student name in this case okay if i remove this course id attribute from here then also my student name will be derived or determined from the student id okay this is known as a partial dependency although in your course name instructor and instructor office if you are removing any of the attribute your values cannot be determined so we have to remove the partial dependency so what i'll do in that case i'll make the student table as a separate one and the course table as the separate one okay so what we will be doing here we have created a student table so you can see all the student entries are here with the id student id and the student name so you can see the redundancy has been removed so the chances of anomalies has been decreased and especially your updation anomaly same way your course table has been created but since your students are being related to the multiple courses i have created one more table here that is your student course table because ultimately when we are decomposing the tables we have to actually relate those tables to uh, to like uh, simplify our queries okay for example the query is uh i want to see like how many students are being enrolled for the course cs 101 okay so in that case i want to relate the student and the course table okay so in that case because of that i have created one more relation table so this table will be working as a relationship between the student table and the course table now you can relate your students table with a student id as a primary key here okay with the foreign key here and the course id again as a foreign key here with the primary key here with the uh, with the help of this what you can do you can relate these tables and ultimately you can solve your queries now guys again guys we are not having our proper normalization proper design and the better design has not been uh, reached yet why because here we are having the transitive dependencies in our table okay what is a transitive dependency transitive dependency is saying that if i am having an attribute a okay b and c your attribute b's values are being determined by the attribute a and the values of attribute c has been determined by the attribute b so c is transitively dependent on a so we will be going further okay we are normalizing it further where we don't want the transitive dependencies okay so that means in this case what is a transitive dependency you can see in the course table okay you can see it here that i am having this instructor office which is dependent on this instructor okay and instructor is dependent on the course id so ultimately i am having a transitive dependency where the instructor office is dependent on this course id i want to remove this transitive dependency so for that what i'll do i will be decomposing it into the 3 nf or the third normal form your third normal form is saying that your table should be is in the should be in the 
टू एन एफ एंड सेकेंडली ऑल द नॉन की एट्रीब्यूट्स ओके आर नॉन ट्रांजिटिवली डिपेंडेंट ऑन द प्राइमरी की दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू रिमूव द ट्रांजिटिव डिपेंडेंसीज सो वट आई डू आई विल आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ इंस्ट्रक्टर टेबल ओके वेयर I have mentioned instructor ID, instructor and the instructor office. Instructor ID now I have generated because again we are requiring each record to be identified uniquely. Okay, so you can manually give this instructor ID or with the help of a sequence generator also we can generate these unique IDs. Okay, so here I have created this instructor table and the course table also I have revised. where i am writing only the course id the course name and the instructor id just to have the relationship between these tables okay the primary key and the foreign key relationship for that i have created a new course table and one instructor table so till now our tables has been normalized till 3nf okay so in the last we are seeing your bcnf bcnf is basically your boys code normal form this is actually guys your 3.5 normal form okay and what this rule states that you have to ensure that the table is in 3nf and every determinant is a candidate key candidate key is a key which is having the potential or of becoming a primary key okay so in this table whatever we have discussed the example what we have discussed we don't require to normalize it further into the bcnf because all the non key attributes are dependent on the candidate keys or the primary keys only okay see in your instructor um, table you can see here instructor id was not a primary key but this is also a candidate key because it is having the potential of being a primary key okay so all the tables are having the candidate keys which are determining the values of the other attributes so you can see the summary of the tables here we have created the student course table which was acting as a relationship between the student and the course table the student table was there course table was there and the instructor table is also there so four tables we have created and ultimately our relation is in the good design which is free of your anomalies so hope you have understood the uh, the concepts okay in case if you are having any doubts so please you can comment or i would be requiring your feedback as well and you can like share and you can subscribe our videos for getting the more relevant content on dbms and other programming languages also thank you very much